The El Nino Southern Oscillation Index, that's what you're looking at, ENZO. So whether we're in a La Nina or an El Nino since the 1980s, that's what you can see. If you're going above the zero degree mark, that means uh, El Nino, and below means cooler equatorial Pacific Ocean temperatures, that means La Nina. So here's your monthly ENZO update. We've been waiting for La Nina, kind of like we're waiting for a, a guest at your Christmas dinner. Well, it's late. It hasn't been showing up. We were waiting for it in the hurricane season, and now we're waiting for it in the winter. We are currently in neutral conditions for the month of November still. We have near average sea surface temperatures, and models predict a weak or even short-lived La Nina, even if it does materialize. So to qualify as a La Nina, we need to see at least 0.5 degrees Celsius cooler surface waters than the norm. But that's not just it. We also are looking for things like stronger trade winds and more rain over Indonesia, less rain over the Central Pacific. That criteria actually has been met. We are seeing the atmosphere look kind of La Nina-ish, but the ocean temperatures are not cooperating. So we now have a forecast of 59% chance of a La Nina happening. And you can see at the bottom of that chart, NDJ, that's November, December, January. Uh, into December, January, February, it looks like a weak El uh, La Nina will stay. And then probably till about March before we go back into a neutral pattern. And this can have a profound effect on your winter.